Hi guys, so today I am doing a video that everybody keeps asking me to do, which is a home workout video that's done in real time. So I'm going to work out basically with you. Um, but for those of you that don't want to do that, that don't want to do it in real time, I'm just going to drop the workout um, at the front as I normally do um, so you can screenshot it. Um, for everybody else, just carry on and work out with me, I guess. Today's workout, um, it's not going to be too sweaty or anything. Um, it's a really lovely day. Well, it's late afternoon now. Um, the sun's still out for a little bit, and I just want to do like a full body toning workout. So hopefully it won't take too long either. So anyway, join me. So um, just first of all, Obviously, what's really important is just warming up. So I tend to just like jog on the spot a little bit and move my feet around. Just get the heart rate to move up a little bit. And then some twists. When I do my twists, I'm pulling in my core nice and tight. Um, otherwise, you can hurt your back. And those of you that know me know that I've got metal in my back, so I'm pretty cautious of what I do with that. And then some marching, squeezing my glutes, squeezing my core. And then some squats, wide-legged. So that's kind of stretching on the inside parts as well as the glutes and my thighs. I normally will also do a few kicks, not starting too high. But as the backs of my legs warm up, I get a little bit higher. And then some shoulder circles. And some shoulder taps. And then some inchworms. I don't know how you're going to see this, but coming down onto my hand, inching myself out. And then inching back up. Coming up, head last, and again, so core nice and tight, coming down, core tight, and the last thing then, is just doing some full twist, core tight, letting my head go with it, holding myself nice and upright. There you go, and I've just realised uh, I think my head has been chopped off for most of that video. I better check. So my first um, super set, no, my first giant set is going to be press ups, followed by marching planks, followed by stars, followed by um, mountain climbers. So let's get to it. I'm going to do 16 reps of everything. So. We'll start with press ups and for those of you who don't do press ups on your knees is perfectly fine put your hands underneath your um, shoulders slightly wider than shoulders and you want to practice going as low as you possibly can so let's get started with that so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I've got my head in the grass. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay. So then, the next thing is going to be the marching planks. So that's one down the other way. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, all nice and tight, eight, nine, ten, twelve, no, <laughs> twelve, my count is terrible, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 
60. And the next one then is a star plank. So starting like this, take one hand up, next leg out, and the other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then mountain climbers. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, that burned your arms. Magic powers everywhere. Oh, you can see I'm really out of breath. Talking and training is definitely not the easiest thing. So that's round one of the first thing. And I'm just going to get myself some water. I suggest you do the same. We'll do the next round. You can uh, obviously do marching plank on your knees as well, like this. The aim of the game is to try and keep your pelvis nice and flat. But I mean, I mean, I actually <laughs> knew I was doing it. You know, I was tipping from side to side. It's quite difficult when you're tired, and definitely for me, I might be quite smart but I can also be a little bit dumb. Um, when I'm trying to talk to you, think of what I'm doing, think of what I'm doing next, and count. Well, it all goes a bit messy. My PT clients will tell you how bad I am at counting when I'm trying to talk at the same time. We always ended up doing a lot more reps. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Anyway, come on, round two. So, let's get these push-ups done. Start, if you can do full push-ups, start with full ones, go down on your knees afterwards. Right guys, let's do this. Oh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, I'm feeling tight now, 15, I can feel my body, 16, tired. Okay, next one then. So we're doing walking planks. So marching planks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, trying to keep your heads down in alignment with your neck. I think that's 40 now, 15, and 16. And stars. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, mountain climbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm alive. I hope you're alive. Okay. I think that's probably the worst of the circuits. Done. Over with. So, next one then. We're going to do a leg circuit. <sighs> so, we're going to use weights and a band, but you can do this without the band. Um, and 
you don't necessarily need kettlebells you can use you know like water bottles two water bottles can be used as weights um anything really that's got some weight to it you can use um i quite like kettlebells so i'm going to start with band i'm going to put that around my upper thighs glute bridges first of all because they're great for activating the glutes so 16 glute bridges 16 squats 16 deadlifts and then we're going to go for 16 pogo jumps so get onto the floor yeah i hope you can see me now with this you can do it with or without a band the band really helps activate the glutes even more so if you've got the band just resist against it pulling in i can also you can also add weight to here too which i'm going to do today so 16 so i'm going to squeeze my glutes up one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, complete. And yes, it's burning, but that is a good thing. So now, make sure I pick the weight up properly. Naughty, if I didn't before. So again, resisting against the band. I'm gonna go for one. Two, three, four, and my glutes really are burning now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, two more, fifteen, sixteen, straight into deadlift dropping this weight here this is where I make sure I push my bum backwards pivot at the hip keep my legs pretty straight so coming down to feel the stretch of my hamstring squeeze my glutes up one two three four this circuit really is a butt burner let me tell you now five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Do as many as you can. If you can't finish off, take a rest. That's 13. Three more. Get a big squeeze with your bum at the top. 14. 15. Core tight. 16 putting the weight down properly and then do side to side four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen oh yeah round one complete Whew. yeah this uh these um resistance bands i was chatting to a client earlier today they have definitely been a game changer for me in getting my glutes to be able to grow. Um, naturally, I have the flattest of a pancake of a bum. Not that it's massive by any stretch of the means right now, but um, it's certainly got some shape to it and a lot more size than it ever has. And I do think that these bands have uh, a big part to play in that because they really help you to activate and switch them on. Um, and use them through, you know, exercises such as squats and deadlifts and things, even more so. Um, prior to having this, I would definitely feel squats way more in my thighs than anywhere else. Um, and now, with this on, my glutes probably before anything else, um, which is great. So yeah, perfect bomb trainer. Quick drink of water, second set. Oh, right. Right. 
legs. So glute bridges, first of all. Now, you can see me. And I'm going to do it with the weight again. Probably do it that way so my butt isn't sticking out. Right. Okay, one, two, three, four. Big squeeze at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Whew. Okay, and into the squats. So making sure you're careful when you pick it up. Okay, resisting against this band again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six more, six, five, four, three, two, one, into the deadlift, bum backwards, one, two, three, four, five, you can hear me breathing, Stop. six, where's our seven now, eight, nine, ten, six more, six, squeeze, five, four, three, nearly there, two, oh, and one, <sighs> drop it down carefully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, deep, sixty, <sighs> the struggle is real, <sighs> okay, so, so this next one then is biceps, triceps, shoulders, and we're going to add a little bit of a lunge in, um, one of them. So we'll start with biceps, we've just been doing legs. So tummy in tight, let's go, 16 of everything again. So curl, bicep curl up, shoulder press over, and that's going to count as one, 16 of those, let's go. So one, two, tummy tight. Three, keep your chest high. Four, feels so good to have that sit on me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep holding on, guys. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, pretty bad in now, 16, Woo. okay, so now, overhead tricep press, so taking my hands up, like elbows near my ears, drop my hands back, squeeze straight overhead, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Woo! Shoulders burning as well. So this last one then, we're going to go backwards as we... Uh, so we lunge backwards and shoulders out. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, my shoulders are burning so much. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, hold it on, 15, one more, 16. My goodness. And to finish off, 16 kettlebell swings. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Whew. Yes. When you do kettlebell swings, be really careful to uh, it's a bit like a deadlift movement. Your bum is going backwards as far as it can go. Your legs are pretty much straight, just soft knees. Um, and then because your bum goes backwards, that's why the upper body pivots forward. It's not you bending over, it's your bum going backwards. So that's why that, that moves forwards. Um, I'm going to do this next set facing that way so you can see but it's really important to keep your tummy really really tight and that the power comes from squeezing your bum and your hamstrings so it's a flick of your hips and the power from these muscles it's not you your arms aren't lifting up or anything this weight's just hanging and it's swinging based on the movement from your hips oh. okay last round and then that is it we're just going to uh stretch done for the day but let me tell you now woohoo your shoulders feel pumped which is good on my glutes because um don't know about you girls but for me i think it's a really lovely um shape so that when you have you know, like a little bit of roundness here on your shoulders then obviously some nice roundness of your glutes and obviously nice trim waist that for me is uh what i aim for so yeah, good workout. Last set. And boy, these shoulders are pumped. And by the way, I excuse the fact that this was a real impromptu video, it wasn't planned, didn't even shave my legs. So uh, hopefully you can't see it. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm gonna do it from the side then this time. Hopefully you can see properly. It's difficult for me to see the screen in the sun. Let's go, succeed of everything. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to keep my uh, six body as still as possible, not just allow myself to swing with the uh, bicep movement. So squeeze the biceps, pressing with the shoulders. That's eight, nine, ten, chest high, eleven, twelve, thirteen, tummy tight, fourteen, fifteen, last one. So triceps then, arms overhead, elbows close to your head, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now the reverse lunges, lateral side width. I don't know if you can see me here, but I don't want to fall over on that. So, one, two, I'm going to have to move around so I'm going to chip up on that. Three, four, five, 
six, the burning reel, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, woo, nearly gone, and sixteen. Okay, last bit. So, one, two, see that it's coming from my hips, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, tummy tight, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Done. Mark out. Done. <sighs> so, one thing that is important, it's really tempting when you finish your workout and you're out of breath, just to go, oh, done now, slump on the couch, lie on the floor, whatever. But actually, it is really important to keep moving um, and allow your heart rate to slow down and that blood to keep moving around. Because what's happening is, when you're moving, especially your calf muscles, when these are going like this, it's pushing all of the blood back up um, and allowing you to clear out the waste, the lactic acid. Um, allows your heart rate just nice and slowly slow down. Um, and that's really, really, really important. Um, you don't want to end up managing to do the workout and then giving yourself a heart attack because you've not cooled down properly. So yeah, allow yourself to cool down. And then, of course, good old stretch. So um, for me, there's not really anywhere in view for me to uh, hold on to anything. So I'm gonna try and balance. So look at one spot, which is you. Bring your knees together. You can hold on to something, obviously. Stretch out the front of my thigh, nice and tight, so pushing my hips forward into that. Holding that. If you're trying to increase flexibility, you want to aim for going for 30 seconds. But um, for just a little bit of stretching after exercise, 10 seconds is actually plenty enough. So again, knees together, hips forward. It. Get a good stretch. And then go for hamstring. So one foot out in front, bend the other knee, and you can sit yourself back down and you'll sit your weight into uh, your bent leg, but stretch down so you can feel the stretch down here, holding that. And as you're doing this, you want to start to take nice, slow breaths, slow everything down. And then change legs. This one forwards. Sit back into it. Feel the stretch all the way down. And just nice, slow breaths. Slow everything down. Nice. And then biceps. So you're going to start with nice wide arms. Thumbs up. Stretch nice up. And back. And then thumbs down. Feel the difference. And then take one arm over your head. I'm step back, I don't know if you can see or come down here. So I'm stretching here now. So I'm holding my elbows, stretching back. Then change this arm. And the same with this one. Whew. Feel like I've earned my dinner. Not that you actually need to exercise if you're eating well. Um, it's, uh, it's something you need anyway because your body's burning loads of calories just being alive. But um, I certainly feel like I need my dinner a lot more. Um, and it's good because it wasn't a super long workout, but I can feel that my body's worked. Um, and that's a nice feeling. It's certainly better, like I used to overtrain for sure, 
and now I train for a lot, lot less time and I feel a lot better for it. And my body doesn't look any worse for it either. And I've got more time to live, of course. So this is a uh, stretch to the back of my shoulders. And then put my hands, my hips and just stretch in my chest forward, shoulders back, stretch the front of your uh, shoulders and your chest. So you can see from here. And I think, my lovelies, that is enough for today. So hopefully you liked it. Um, give me a thumbs up if that's what you wanted. Also let me know, because I know you've said you want home workouts and stuff. Let me know if you've got particular equipment you'd like to use or if you want to do like a leg workout or um, an upper body workout, whatever it is. Give me some feedback um, and I will endeavor to uh, create that content for you. So have an amazing day guys and I shall chat to you later. Bye bye.